Hello friends, in this video we will try to explain you how our country India is going to power its energy status by installing 10 new nuclear reactors in the country with a combined capacity of 7000 megawatt these are all new installations but before going to that i will request you to please like our video also give your esteemed comments as to what you need further friends it is a very short run video and we will explain you what is the present status of the nuclear power stations in india what is the total capacity and third most important factor how these new 10 installations of 7000 megawatt at a total cost of 1,5,000 crore will change the energy scenario of the country. Friends, first we will deliberate for general people to know what are the major advantages of nuclear power vis-a-vis -vis thermal power stations and other power stations. Number one, it eliminates requirement of fossil fuel. You know this fossil fuel that means crude petroleum is being controlled by handful of countries at their dictation, price dictations in a cartel mode which is totally against the prosperity of any country. Now nuclear power will replace gradually the fossil fuel requirement. Number two, low greenhouse emissions. This is very much known because there is no major pollutions. Third is a technical area, base load power generation. Nuclear power plants provide a stable and continuous supply of electricity, making them suitable for base load power generation. And fourth very important factor is large scale electricity generation. Nuclear power plants have a high capacity factor, meaning they can generate electricity at a high level of efficiency for a significant portion of the time. This makes them very attractive and suitable for large scale electricity generations. And fifth, the technological advancement and knowledge creation. These are the five major benefits which we derive from nuclear power plants. Now, second question could be from your end that what is the existing nuclear power capacity of the country? We have done the necessary research work and we find the country has around 6,780 megawatt nuclear power capacity. Now next question could be how and where. I will explain you the major nuclear power installations in the country. Tarapu Atomic Power Stations. We all know Hawa Atomic Research Center. Capacity is 1,400 megawatt. Rawat Bhatta Atomic Power Stations located in Rajasthan with 1,180 megawatt. Kaiga Generating Stations located in Karnataka 
with a total capacity of 880 megawatt and Kagrapara atomic power stations situated in Gujarat which has two units with a total capacity of 400 megawatt and lastly we all know Kundan Kulam nuclear power stations located in Tamil Nadu. It has two units of 1000 megawatt each. Now today probably this is the largest capacity holding unit in India so far nuclear power is concerned. So we know that the total capacity is around 6700 megawatt, 6780 megawatt of the country. And now India is going to install 10 more installations in the country and each installation will have 700 megawatt. That means India is going to create another 7000 megawatt nuclear power generating capacity in the country. Now two 700 megawatt reactors each are being built at Kaiga in Karnataka, Gorakhpur in Haryana and Chutka in Madhya Pradesh. That means in these three places there will be two installations of 700 megawatt. Seven, 700 megawatt into to 14, 1400 megawatt into three stations. Four nuclear reactors will be built at Mahi, Banswara in Rajasthan. So therefore, we find there will be 10 700 megawatt reactors are being built. Two 700 megawatt reactors each are being built in Kaiga in Karnataka. Gorakhpur in Haryana and Chutka in Madhya Pradesh. Two units of 700 megawatt each in, in these three centers. And four nuclear power reactors will be built at Mahi Maswara in Rajasthan. Now what is the total cost of the country for these 10 new reactors? It is around 1,5,000 crores. Now friends, all these reactors will be operated through fleet mode. Now it is a it is not a very common term for common people like us. The fleet mode operation involves a coordinated approach to operating multiple nuclear power plants as a single entity to reduce the cost waste and to improve efficiencies. This is a very very important thing which means that you are controlling multiple reactors sitting from one particular place. That is also a new technological advancements of the country. Friends, we thought to bring this very important topics which is a matter of pride for all Indians and that is why we thought to bring through a short video. So with this new and old, we'll have around 14,000 megawatt of nuclear powers in the country. It is a very, very good achievement and it will help to achieve our target to reach 5 trillion economy. Thank you very much, friends for your patient hearing. If you like our video, please forward it, like it and of course subscribe our channel and you will get many such videos in future. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.